it's not just us going on the show, it's all of us going on the show. When it comes to India, I'm very, very patriotic. You know, you can see the culture, you can learn about the heritage. I set my eyes on Simran in 2004 and I never let my eyes off of her. Um, always keep her as close as I can, even if it means making myself uncomfortable and going into a cooking show with her. Um, I'm going to do that. So as much time as I can spend. Look, I mean, we have a truly a love marriage. Like I saw her and that was the first thing I told her was, you're the first and the last girl that I'm going to see and I'm going to marry you. And she just thought I was out of my mind. But you know, like, <laughs> Love at first sight, it really happens, right? I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones who can actually say that. And that's what happened for me, not for her, but it's about me. I want something, I'm gonna get it. So we moved, we moved to US because that's where, I'm uh, that's where I grew up. So we moved back there and then uh, my job brought me here in about, about six years ago to Sydney. And uh, we've been living here ever since. Um, as I was growing up, since I was a little kid, I enjoyed Bollywood. So then and there I knew that I want to be part of the fashion and glam industry. And um, so after, uh, after being married and you know, taking a break with two kids, I said, no, I'm going to start my, you know, I'm going to give my passion a go. I'm going to start you know, being into the in industry that I always wanted to. So I went in for a beauty pageant, which was in 2016 Mrs. India Australia and I came up as a first runner up. And after that, a lot of doors opened, avenues opened. Um, being a mother, I was always into fitness as well. So that's been a big, big um, journey for me fitness wise as well. So I got into a lot of um, modeling, acting, fitness projects as well. Um, while I was doing that, I came across the Miss India Global Talent, uh, sorry, Miss, Mrs. India Global 2018 beauty pageant. And I won that as well. So after that, I just pretty much did a lot of modeling and from modeling, I wanted to get into acting. So, and then when Global Indian Talent came across, they wanted to represent their brand in Khan's Film Festival. Mm -hmm. I said, this is a great opportunity as well as, um, you know, being an Indian, I really strong firm. And I think it's a great way to, you know, represent your country and also be the ambassador for them. I was approached by a very close friend who said this is an audition that's happening and I think you would be a great fit for it. Why not just try it out? And I said, well, why not? But it was just for me at that time. I was like, oh, it's a team. I have to have somebody with me. So at that point, I was like, I don't know who I'll take. And uh, I came home and I said, would you like to join me on this journey? And he's like, I'm always the back person. I can't be the front now. And I said, no, you can. So when we actually made it to that, we're going to be on the show, it was, I think we still have a video of that sitting yeah. somewhere. Um, Channel 7 had to give this as a surprise to us. So we were just told to get onto a Zoom or on an audio conference and we have something. And me and Ash were just like, wow. <laughs> you know, like we actually made it. That's, that's just, you know, an accomplishment in itself. And I was like, that's, <laughs> India we just have to be the best yeah. and we have to we just started creating plans we started doing a lot of cooking more um, strategically yeah. I mean yeah and I'm in the same along the lines but I think for me it was more about saying that okay finally we're gonna get India on India mm -hmm. on as a husband wife couple where you can see a little bit more than just you know you can see the culture you can learn about the heritage and see all that stuff so I was excited that you know um, Australia had Channel Channel Seven had opened their doors to our team, and we were going to go in and we we're going to show the Indian community that guys, this is us. It's not just us going on the show; it's all of us going on the show. When it comes to you know just India, I'm very very patriotic. Um, even on the show again. Uh, a lot of things that um, emotionally came through me while looking at the flag, I don't know, wasn't on in the show shown, but it, it was pretty much, I was just really, you know, coming all out with oh. my flag. Emotion, yeah. yeah. You were the best guy she could have, actually. Yeah. I don't think she would have got anybody better. Oh. To, yeah. and, and what a, what a yeah. combination. 
Wow. Yeah, thank, thank you for that. And you know, that's that's actually a testament to another thing that is close to us is the fact that, you know, as Indians, like it's generally been shown to us in our, when we were growing up that, you know, women are the only ones who actually go to the kitchen and, you know, men don't. And that's, that's a stereotype that's breaking, obviously, but we wanted to kind of accelerate that stereotype breakage a little bit more by showing that, you know what, we both do. I mean, some of the top uh, chefs, chefs in the world are, yeah. you know, male, exactly. right? Exactly. So I think we're well on our way of breaking some of those, um, some of those old uh, traditions, which are not obviously, you know, positive anymore because of given the time that we live in now. So mm -hmm. it's just a mindset shift change that we wanted to also incorporate. And you're right, 100%, like I am, I'm all for help and I'm all there for her to take the pressure off and make life easy because that's what partners are supposed to do. I think um, this show is going to bring a lot of like I've already shown being creative on the ramp and you know walking for various designers and everything and now I've showed another part of me which is in my food so if I can take both of my fashion sense and my experience and a lot of that comes from me into the food that would be the great combo that I would like to take it on and pretty much you know combine them together and let the world see it how we can uh, you know make make it more creative you can be more creative so has the pandemic actually changed your lifestyle a bit um, I think this has really brought for us I think it has made our, uh, us more alive I would say yeah. you know we are more together and yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah we haven't had a moment where we would have been like Get off my face yet sorry yeah. <laughs> the, the pandemic uh, overall has been good for us like she said like we we've, we're getting time to spend with the kids i'm not wasting or not spending my time going into the city and coming back which takes time mm -hmm. and those kind of things so it's been nice that i'm around and you know i can go pick up the kids or drop the kids off and you know just overall relationship it just it's just nice like it's mm -hmm. something that i don't take for granted because yes. you know time goes by so fast that you don't even realize that you know wow your kids are 10 and 8 yeah. what where the where that time goes so you know we're uh, we're happy where we are right now the future is the future is endless right i mean simran is going to continue to do what she does in her um, acting and her you know health and fitness uh, side of work that she does but at the same time there are opportunities that have come about with uh, with being on Plate of Origin and, you know, we're going to explore those. Mm -hmm. um, one of the passions that I always had was having my own food truck. Um, and I think I even mentioned that on my show, uh, on the show. Um, just have a food truck where we can just go all the way around and just kind of show people different uh, different dishes from India that we can serve up. So, you know, that is a passion that we're, we are going to explore, um, but there is some other stuff. So you haven't seen the end of Team India. Our, our whole thing is to make Indians in our community proud of, you know, what Indians can also accomplish. We can go and do these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nobody can say that we can't do it. I think we just, we hope that we have done our Indian community proud and we hope that they will be behind us supporting us. I think that it's very important for us being in Australia from India together. We, you know, we have to be, we all have to kind of support each other and kind of move forward that way. So we, we love the support we're getting and we hope we continue to get it. I think from my side, I would say two children who India in India grew up in, you know, different countries outside. And we just want everyone to come along and you know support us and see, you know, we are Indian food is the best and it's always gonna be the best. So yeah, thank you once again guys and all the best.